It isn't very often that you can put that many superstars together and have it work, but it worked and it worked well. The part that really that is a look at a new trailer for the documentary called For the Banks of the Red Cedar, featuring former Viking wide receiver Gene Washington and Viking running back Clinton Jones. The film shows the success of the first fully integrated football team at Michigan State and its effects on college football during a time of segregation. And we are joined, luckily, by Gene Washington here this morning. Thank you so much for joining us again. Well, it's my pleasure being here, Leah. Uh, this is, we're very anxious for your daughter to finish up yes. this film. She's yeah. off in L.A. editing, right? That's right. She's working hard, and, and we hope to have it completed at the end of next year. We're so thankful that you came in to talk about this. Uh, for people that maybe missed last time that you were on, tell us a little bit more about this film. Well, the, the most important part is just it traces my history, my background from LaPorte, Texas, which is near Houston. Mm -hmm. And so Duffy Doherty recruited me, and uh, he recruited a lot of black players from the South. And, uh, and so my first field of integration was going up to Michigan State. And he, he used to come down South and put on a lot of coaching clinics mm -hmm. for a lot of the black coaches. And so Bubba Smith's father was a football coach. And so I got to Michigan State mainly because of Bubba and his father uh, put in a good word for me. Other than that, I probably would have stayed down south. But I, I'm so happy and glad that I had a chance to go to Michigan State, though. Yeah, and it must be a bit of an emotional roller coaster to go back through your own history and back to the emotions you were feeling at that time. What's it like going back through all of this to make the film? Well, it's been very interesting because I have a lot of my t old teammates mm -hmm. who are part of the film. They have been interviewed to be a part of the film. And it feels, uh, you know, once you are at Michigan State and you're going through that, you, you're at the moment. But uh, looking back 50 years, I can put all of this together. And uh, at that time, it was really in the high point of the segregation movement. Right. And Dr. Martin Luther King was very involved in the in the demonstrations and and involved in down south. And so uh, as I look back on that, I, I was a part of that. But yeah. of course, I left to go to Michigan State. Is it something that at times are people uh, eager to talk about it uh, in that time in history that, you know, a lot of not, it's not very something that we're proud of, mm -hmm. uh, that time of segregation, but to go back there and were people eager to be part of the film? Yeah, they're very eager to be a part of it. And it's, it's very educational, especially for my, my granddaughters, if you will. Right. And also my, my daughters, and this is one, one of the reasons Maya got interested in it, because uh, when Bubba Smith passed away about four years ago, and she got to meet a lot of my teammates, and this was very instrumental in, in pushing her and encouraging her to do a, a documentary because she was already in theater arts and a graduate from USC. So, uh, so it, it's very interesting recalling all of those years and thinking back on it and I'm just so proud that uh, that she has taken up to, to do this. Is that part of the reason you wanted to do it for your family? Uh, it, that, that was the main reason yeah. because uh, again I have granddaughters and and they this is something that they'll always remember their grandfather about but uh, but it's nice to it's nice to be remembered. Well, we look forward to her completing it. We know she's working hard, aiming for early next year. It's called On the Banks of the Red Cedar. Thank you, Gene, so well, much for joining us again. We appreciate it. And we know, uh, Cody, it's a good day for watching football, indoor, outdoor. We will be watching our old mater, uh, Michigan State. Today's yes. play Michigan. But, uh, you know, whether people are going to the bank today for the Minnesota-Nebraska game, beautiful day out there.